Hey guys, uh, I'm Rick Ellis from allyourscreens.com. Hi, Rick. I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to do this. And, you know, uh, maybe here I'll start with you and Carlos, you can answer as well. Yeah, I just got finished talking to uh, some of the other uncles and they all said that the audition process was a little kind of drawn out trying to find the right characters, the right actors to, to, to match up. And I wonder what, what your experience was with the, with that process. Uh, it's, it's kind of similar for me, but I, I think I found I got sent Mondo at first um and even before sending that in when i read the the scenes for the mondo audition played by a frame video played by a frame video thank you when i read those scenes i immediately wanted to play mike and i called my manager asked him to send me the mike scenes and then i just sent both in so for me it was i didn't get kind of bounced around as people were figuring it i like found one but it, they had thought of me for something else initially yeah i had read for roly uh uncle roly and for uncle ryan from right from the get and i think they pretty much by the second time they came back they wanted me to do ryan i think they it's pretty clear that you didn't know ryan was yours right away no no i'm saying like those were the two that i was like auditioning oh, that for that for. i was i would have been happy to do either but i'm really happy i ended up with uncle ryan definitely i mean it's once you work with the character you you know you have a soft spot for Uncle Ryan. Well, I guess the, the obvious question uh, to both of you, and Henry, start with you, I guess, which is what was it about Mike that made you think this, I think this is the character I want to do. I think this is the fit for me. Uh, it was his humor. It was the, there was the scene with Ryan, actually, where he, and it's been rewritten in the pilot a little bit, but it was uh, when the certificate scene, when Ryan's talking about going to college and Mike is so mean when he's yeah. making the jokes, and I just wanted to say that. It's more of him as a, as a person kind of processing <laughs> a lot my of dark like hostility that he can't like yeah. put out into the real world, so he just hopes for the right roles where he can exercise those demons. <laughs> it's a healthy way to do with trauma. <laughs> you get to say things you couldn't get away with in real life without someone yeah. punching you, so that's, <laughs> that's good. I could never say that. <laughs> How about you, Carlos? What was it about Ryan that you thought, oh, yeah, this would be fun, either as an actor or just personality wise that you think would thought would have been fun I just uh I feel like as soon as I read it I had a really good I felt like I had a really good take on on the character and uh he's the right kind of buffoon uh it's <laughs> in the wheelhouse if that makes sense uh yeah. and I just done another character uh prior and I also felt like it was so different than the other I was working on another show so it was really exciting because it was like a part of also like you know a part of what I could bring to, to the character, but it was very different from what I'd done uh, previously. So I was just excited to really, to really handle it. I don't say this often, and, and this is going to sound, uh, I, you know, I audition a lot and not everything goes well, but I really felt like, oh, I have a really good uh, handle on this. And I was really excited and confident about my take on Uncle Ryan. Does that sound, is that too much? Yeah. Is no, that no. too overconfident? No other actors stood a chance. <laughs> Nobody. No chance. Uh, you know, I'm curious for, for both of you. Um, it's a show with a, a new showrunner. It's an ensemble. There's a lot of moving parts. You know, how long was it before you sort of found yourself looking around and go, you know, this is going to be this is going to be OK, because I'm sure you both worked on shows where you just thought, no, this this is this is not going to be a pleasant s scenario. But you know, at what point did you both kind of figure out? You know what? I, this is going to work out. We're going to be happy with this. It was a tough week for Henry the first week. I, I was positive I was getting fired. <laughs> I, was I was like, no, what are you talking positive. about? Positive. I was like, bro, I'm not going to be here very long. I'm going to get fired. They're going to be like, what is this guy doing? So and I'm going to, home. We had to walk him off the ledge. But about after week <laughs> two, uh, I, I settled in. We had filmed too much. It would be too expensive to get rid it's of It's mostly him. practically it was hard for him to get fired, more than the actual yeah. reason that it was we were having a great time and we were actually doing great work. <laughs> he, he won't want to admit that. So, yeah, there. it took me about two weeks. I know. How about you, Carlos? As soon as I met everybody. Um, yep. I think as soon as there's something, like, I always say, like, with a project, like, if you get an ounce of, like, what the process was to make, and, and, and it translates through the screen, then I know that it's gonna be something good because I feel like as soon as we met, we immediately felt like we, we were in our characters, we bonded and we started working right away. There was no like, 
I feel like yeah. we never had like a like a process of trying to get into it. We would just kind of hit the ground running. And usually for me, that's a good sign that it's a good show because everything comes together, right? Not only the characters, but the writing is great and the direction just from the get-go. So it really just, we didn't have to figure much out. I think we we had like the first table read and after that, we just, just started working. And I think Shay, even though being a first time showrunner, Shay's a hell of a leader. Yeah. And I think that comes through and, and made, it was apparent really quickly that like, he might not know everything about show running yet but he knows how to be he's a good coach he's a great yeah, coach. he's a great coach he knows how to be in, in the the number that's one his position. strength he comes from from that kind of like sports mentality which i think i thought it was yeah great. we would get text messages it, yeah. that were like like halftime speeches yeah. coach and that's a little daunting because that's the kind of thing you don't know till you're in the middle of the process right, you, right. you don't know accepting the role okay, this, this person knows what they're doing. It's going to be a good experience. And there's a certain amount of leap of faith involved. So, yeah. And also they're trying to figure out the show, right? Like we're figuring out the characters, but they're also, because it's, it's just starting, like we're, we're making sure that it, they're making sure that everything works, that the characters blend together. So it, it was just, everybody was firing on all cylinders. So that was, and I think there's a leap of faith, but it's also Mike sure doesn't really miss. No. I can't think of one, but you know, and I think that, you, that gives you sort of confidence on a little insurance policy going in no matter yeah. what. Well, I'm, I'm curious for, for either one of you, uh, you know, that the process of acting on a show with a big ensemble has to be a little daunting at times because, you know, if, if you're in a, in a show where it's three people in a scene all the time, you're sort of running, you find your pace and, you know, you guys are in situations where, You've got to jump in. You do your scene, and you're you're gone, or you're you're in a scene with a bunch of other people, and it you don't. I would suspect you don't have the chance necessarily to find the rhythm you would if you were in every scene and in every episode. What's the question? <laughs> you, you know, just just uh, <laughs> you guys are going to be difficult. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you know, just just from an acting standpoint, is is it as as a as a challenge as I right, would expect? It was, it was, I, I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah. No, I feel like I, for me, I, you know, I come from improv. Uh, I am from an improv background, so I feel like for me, rhythm and finding your pocket in, in every scene is always very important. And I feel like that that was very apparent from the way that it was also written. So it's also safeguarded by the fact that it's written so well that we really don't have to worry about it, but. But what we do bring is is that extra energy and maybe like a point of view that the, maybe we can only find when we're in it, right? Because you can write something, but until you get up and you actually do it, you realize when something works or it doesn't work. And for the most part, I felt like for me at least, it was it's very easy to get into that rhythm on an ensemble. ensemble yeah, works. I think it helps in like the you have so much more to react to because there's there's so many actors doing great work around you and you get just things to play off of. Uh, it's it's very Chekhovian and to me, you know, like you're in the background, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> There's no like, characters are in the background doing their own things um, and being able to know you're not actually the center of the scene, but I can still be in a scene in the back and having fun as the character, I think lets you live in it more and it's more fun for me that way. Well, it's an indication that you guys got along pretty well together because the the uh, look that Carlos gave you when you mentioned Chekhovian was was, was yeah, pretty we're, priceless. We come from two different schools of uh, of actors. <laughs> All right, I left my Chekhov gun <laughs> in my apartment. <laughs> well, well, guys, I, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Really enjoyed the show, and and good luck with it. Thank appreciate you, Rick. Appreciate you, Rick. it. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.